What's going on everyone, it's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and I wasn't expecting this to come this soon but here it is. Anyway, today is update day and so we're going to go over the patch notes real quick um, and oddly enough, you know the video I posted over the weekend is pretty much what's going on today. So let's go ahead and go through that. Main updates here, only two things. Gotta be honest, is getting a bit, I don't know what the right word for it is, it's a bit disappointing right now. Um, that you know we're not getting much of any content like you know you bring a boss last patch so within a month we get some balance changes and a boss that doesn't even spawn on every server um, we don't even get the mechanism to go travel to the servers that get it so um, you know a lot of people right now are waiting on magic square and secret peak 7 and it's yeah, it gets a bit frustrating every two weeks when we're not getting it um, so I'm not sure what's going on while we're not getting uh, a little bit more in terms of content, but whatever it is what it is. Let's talk about the, today's updates We got the class balance changes, uh, which is what I covered over the weekend changes to the classes But now we'll get the Eng clear English version here Then this was a bit of a shock here divine dragon seven day attendance event um, So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute when we get down to the details Let's go ahead and go over the changes. So here's the balance updates. Here is the actual, you know what the you know actual translations are in terms of in English what the uh, skill changes are um, so here again we got on rep I don't even know how to say this repost repost um, health recovers this health immediately after using the skill that's a new part of the move uh, tier 8 you get 10% tier 10 you get 20% so again this, nothing's gonna change until you get to tier 8 uh, iron shackle cooldown reduction is changed from 48 to 40 seconds 8 second cooldown reduction on that Zerk remove of amplified damage penalty received after using a skill so you're not going to be more vulnerable after using a skill uh, Barbaric charge increase own physical defense crit evade when using uh, when it's used so tier 8 again not nothing happens until tier 8 physical defense and uh, plus 115 crit evade plus 100 for 6 seconds 6 seconds is not a great amount of time but it can give you a little extra oomph then Lion's Roar, uh, minor damage will be dealt to enemies on the outer edge of the skill's uh, main area of effect. Min maximum damage remains the same. So basically, I mean, essentially, there's going to be more classes that get this change. And the way I look at it is it's just basically trying to hit the additional mobs more for PvE. Um, so that, you know, you, you pull more aggro. Um, kind of bringing things more in line with the kind of aggro that a Sorcerer or Arbalist can pull. Um, it's kind of just the way I see it then down here under sorcerer the changes we have here um, thunderstorm uh, previously strikes enemies with thunderbolts that's the random thunderbolts we talked about this in my last video um, the maximum number of enemies hit is eight uh, is increased from 8 to 10 um, also in, now instead of doing the random strikes strikes an immediate an enemy with with thunderbolts centered around the enemy's location um, three hits plus additional one hit on the center of the skill effect area So now adjustment on the skill hit rate through the reduction of spell casting time reduce the spell casting time of the skill So, you know trying to speed those things up a little bit chain lightning uh, can now hit seven enemies instead of just six uh, Increased the uh, damage inflicted to subsequent targets hit by chaining uh, By chain lightning second through the six hits so it does increase in damage a little bit, so that's kind of cool too. The, I believe the way it translated in, when we read it uh, in the video over the weekend was that it was the same amount of damage uh, spread out through the hits. So that seems to, this seems to apply that there's a little bit more damage getting done there. Flame Strike, cooldown reduction from 50 to 45 seconds. And then uh, Frozen Block. This is the one I didn't quite understand here. Um, so let's, let's get the actual translation. Movement speed of the enemy will decrease when Ice Shield gets created. Previously, uh, frostbite will trigger will be triggered to chill enemies once ice shield breaks. Now, frostbite will be triggered to chill the enemies as soon as the ice shield is casted. Okay, so that that makes a little more sense here. So instead of it happening when it, the shield breaks off of the caster, it will happen as soon as you put the ice shield on. Um, kind of you know slowing those enemies down, slowing the mobs down. I think that will help a little bit. Damage inflicted to surrounding enemies upon skill cast increased and damage inflicted to surrounding enemies at the end of the skill is reduced. Uh, the maximum damage remains the same. So basically the damage is pretty much going to be the same, but the um, more damage will be inflicted as the skill is cast versus when it is um, when it ends. 
Then a Toast. Um, Moonlight Orb increased in skill range and area of effect. It should help with farming. Uh, Rain of Blades increase in skill range. Again, should help a little bit in farming. Tai Chi. Minor damage will be dealt to enemies on the outer edge of the skill's main area of effect. Maximum damage remains the same. So again, all these have to do with farming. Uh, help you a little bit in AFK. Lancer. Sweeping Storm. Minor damage will be dealt to enemies on the outer edge of the skill's main area of effect. Uh, maximum damage remains the same. Same thing for the Dragon Tail. So again, this is helping farming. Help you pick up more mobs. Kind of trying to bring some of the other classes more in line with being able to AFK similarly to uh, Arbalist and Sorcerer. Now, here we go. Divine Dragon 7 Day Event. Now, this kind of caught my attention. And wh what it's saying here is a character growth supplement items and Dragon Blessing can be claimed through a 7 day attendant pro reward. So I believe this is a... Uh, Similar to when the, we first got the Divine Dragon's Blessing, which we got it on the 7th day or 14th day. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and then additional Divine Dragon's Blessing can be purchased through the shop. So, a little bit more pay to win there. Uh, this says that players can use Divine Dragon's Blessing to receive one combination result item among Dragon Scale, Leather, Horn, Skill Tomb, or Spirit Stone. Highest grade obtainable through the ticket is based on your highest combination intents. We know all that how that works. You can access it in the event menu. Now, it says 7 day... Attendance rewards can be claimed through until April 5th. Uh, Dragon's Divine, the Divine Dragon's Blessing acquired before this event can, can't be used and will be deleted. Um, so, I mean, most people use theirs already if they did get it. Um, but this to me is saying that the, the actual Divine Dragon's screen on the event screen is going to reset. So, if you've got like a spirit on your last one, you should be able to get a spirit with the free one. If you got one through the paid method before. This says Divine Dragon's Blessing can be used until April 11th and it will be deleted after scheduled period. So, we're getting one free. I really hate to say this because last time I had to bite my tongue, but this does seem like this is a free one, right? Because it is based on the attendance, unless you have to buy a package to unlock the attendance calendar. Who knows? They could be doing that now. But here it does look like hey, we got the Divine Dragon's Blessing for free on day seven. So, we're going to go with that. And then it looks sounds like there may be one or more on the shop as well. We'll see how that works once we get the update. And then a couple changes here, small changes. Market, they're adding the purchase history. So you can see your purchase history and your settlement history for up to 30 days. And then uh, in-game bug fixes and gameplay improvements. Fix an issue with how auto attack uh, reacted during clan expedition. Infernal abomination. I honestly didn't personally see this. Um, so I don't know exactly what was going on there. But whatever it is, they fixed it. Fix an issue with the clan shop UI not reflecting correctly upon creating a new clan. Uh, again, I haven't created a new clan in a while, so who knows what was going on there. And then modify the visual effects of Thunderstorm skill for sorcerers. Um, I don't know if that's, I mean, I guess considering they changed the move, I'm assuming I had to go with that. I don't know why this had to be a separate uh, line item to me that goes hand in hand with how they changed the move here. So that's probably a different animation now. Um, so either way, pretty straightforward. It's pretty much most of what I covered over the weekend. So we got a little bit more clear, uh, translation here. And, um, honestly, you know, it's great. We get some changes. They listen to the community. They want a little bit more balance. You get a little bit more balance. Uh, getting the extra divine dragons attempt is nice. You know, another attempt at legendary for me. Um, but other than that, fairly mediocre. Like I'm still sitting here waiting on magic square and secret peak seven. Um, you know, I think we should get more than that, but at the minimum, like, why can we not get Magic Square and Secret Peak 7? Um, I, I don't know why that's not out yet. It was on the timeline, just to show you guys, uh, on the Chronicle, and I believe it was here, or was it on here? So, yeah, here we go. February 15th, uh, we had new region update, Magic Square Secret Peak 7 update. Two new equipment slots. Now we got the equipment slots early, um, but we didn't get the uh, the Rock Tomb update or the Secret Peak, the Magic Square Seven, and it's now uh, over a month away from this date. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, you know, we haven't re even heard anything about Sabu Castle yet. I don't believe, as far as I know, they don't have Sabu Castle uh, fight in Korea either. Um, but we we so we got. Again, we got the we got this boss right, but they didn't give us the expedition to go with it. And they even described this as four hours of fierce battle through crossover uh, crossover expedition, defeat Black Flame Pegasus Narcon, and obtain legendary loot boxes. 
to me this goes hand in hand why we got just a boss without the actual expedition i have no idea um i i i'm honestly like i said this is why i'm disappointed you set expectations but you don't meet them um you know i, I do think there's a lot of good things happening but right now this this is a disappointing update and the progress of the updates is a bit disappointing other than that still enjoy the game to a degree um but i mean everyone's all these people catching up to you know magic square secret peak six and it's getting crowded and you know people can't progress and there we were like pretty much wasting resources progressing on lower experience than what we could be getting if we had magic square and secret peak 7 f um so it's, that, that's that's kind of where my little bit of disappointment comes in guys uh you know i appreciate them listening to feedback bringing these changes but we'll see where it goes from here thank you guys for tuning in if you're enjoying the videos make sure you hit that like button you know subscribe to hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on i'll catch you in the next video